Welcome to this video about the Facebook server Intel Motherboard 4.0 or Project Tioga Pass server. This server is also known as, as the WeWin SV7220G3-S. The dash S is because this one features a three and a half inch hard disk slot. This new uh, motherboard is the successor to the Facebook Leopard motherboard. And this motherboard features the Intel scalable family of CPUs. Um, in our case, there is a gold CPU installed. So what's new to this, uh, this motherboard is the M.2 slot that they're using right now instead of uh, M SATA. Uh, a by 32 uh, for the riser card, which allows you to have two by 16 PCI slots uh, for expansion to, for example, a, uh, uh, just a bunch of GPUs or just a bunch of flash with NVMe storage. Um, it also has the new uh, mezzanine 2.0 slot with uh, two by eights on, on both sides. So this uh, network card now can be a 100 gig network card. Uh, we also have secure boot now. Um, there's an extra uh, location for flash. So this is BMC secure, this is the BMC firmware flash and the BIOS flash. Now the difference between this motherboard and how you would get it from, uh, from WeWin uh, through us is um, that this motherboard now uh, doesn't have the RJ45 connector. So uh, that's the only change that we'll make uh, when we uh, supply this motherboard to you is that we'll add that RJ45 uh, for the uh, BMC and for a one gig connection for the operating system. Um, otherwise, if you don't have this, you can use the um, uh, sideband interface on the mezzanine slot. Um, now this motherboard also has a VGA connector here. Um, it's listed in the specification. Um, it's not the traditional nine pin connector. It's a, it's a different connector, but there's a cable to go through a normal VGA connection. Um, and there's a new USB-C port. Uh, still existing is a debug card. Um, so you don't need VGA for anything. I've made a video um, previously about how to debug a server with, uh, with this uh, debug card. So you can watch that if you're interested in learning how to do that. Um, also new is that um, they're now using the Facebook OpenBMC on this motherboard. Uh, this was previously used with storage devices and switches, but now uh, it's also uh, available on these servers. Um, it's actually running on this uh, server, so I might make a video later to show you uh, OpenBMC. Um, so yeah, this uh, this uh, server also when it's made by WeWin it will be OCP accepted um, and it will comply to the specification. Um, here's some details about the uh, PCI lanes and all the different connections on the motherboard um, and it will follow this standard. So uh, not creating any new IP or any propri proprietary product um, it will still be uh, following the OCP specification. And if you would like to try this server, I can give you remote access. Uh, just let me know through the comments or send me an email info at circlebee.eu. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.